Hi friends, it's been a long time I haven't posted anything and I feel a little guilty about it but uh, I do have some videos that I'm going to post soon uh, of a show I made in Stockton, NJ at the Prolesville Mill for the Love Mother Earth 2020 art exhibit with the Ryder dance troupe from the Ryder University, very dear friends of mine. The, the exhibit was organized by Mike Mann. So today I would like to talk to you about a very special subject, a subject that's very important to me, not only in art, but in every domain in life, I think. And that's a subject that's very present in Wagner's essays, very present in the philosophy of Schopenhauer, who was a 19th century German writer too, who influenced Wagner a lot in his ideas. So the theme is that of will and imagination. These are two forces that guide and make up any artwork, any creation of man. There are two essential forces that drive the endeavor of the artist. So, in other words, on the one hand, we have this. No tongue, Siegfried sword symbol of the all-conquering power of will. Notung in the Norse languages means the child of despair. And what you must know about this is that note in German means need, which is also a force that Wagner talks of a lot in his essays, or writes about, I should say, and that he considers essential to art itself. This sword was welded by Siegfried to kill the dragon Fafner, who guarded the precious and fabulous hoard of the Nibelung, the gold of the Rhine, guarded by the Rhine maidens and stolen from them in the first part of the tetralogy, Das Rhein Gold in German. This sword even Mim, the skilled smith, could not weld. He intended to kill Siegfried with it after Siegfried had killed Fafner for him. And he intended to make the hoard of the Nibelung his and his alone. But as he didn't know, unfortunately for him, only Siegfried, with his fearlessness and courage that didn't know any fear, could make the hoard his. And this actually ended up um, bringing up tragic consequences for him, but I won't talk about this right now. On the other hand, the redeeming power of the cup of the grail a symbol that's at the core of the story of Wagner's last opera Parsifal I uh, <laughs> try to surround myself with symbols such as these and I especially like this cup because it's purple and at one point in the opera the libretto clearly states that the cup becomes purple as light falls on it when it's uncovered unveiled from the shrine so the connection I make with them um, this discussion about will and imagination is that I think that the cup also represents the opposite of the symbol of the sword, and that is the symbol of imagination, 
because when you see a cup it's round unlike the very sharp straightforward uh, shape of the sword and especially since one of Wagner's most famous quotes is actually imagination creates reality so I think that the symbol of these two objects that are so important in both Parsifal and Siegfried is that the answer is indeed that will and imagination are as important one as the other in any artwork, any creation of man, any thought and that we really need both in everything we do and especially art, both the sword of will. and the cup of imagination.